kind of get where you're going, though. Um, I don't kind of, because for me, it comes to uh, my weight. You know, I, uh, I've said it before, I love to eat. But I'll say, you know what, today I'm going to do really well. I'm just going to have one chip, one. <laughs> In fact, it's funny, today, uh, and, and I'll even do it through cooking. I love to cook. And so today we started to make some hors d'oeuvres and the hors d'oeuvres were these, I had an idea for Italian nachos. It's not original, but mine was original. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make Italian nachos today. I'm just going to do it because it's creative and it's new. I'm, I don't have to eat or I'll only have one bite of something. Uh, but I could never stop with just one. In fact, I'm looking at the pan right now, and all right, well, good day, Steve. Hey, Steve, how are you? I'm doing terrific. How are you doing? Doing, doing good. Hey, you have a snazzy virtual background. Thank you. I got this from somebody I know named Steve. Yeah. 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 We're trying something new folks. We've got a new background. The kitchen is still there. Don't think that the kitchen isn't going to come back. You also may notice that there is some sort of a halo effect. <laughs> we apologize in advance. Let's get the elephant out of the room. We've got virtual background. So sometimes these halo effects are going to come. When we get back to live in-person shows, we'll probably get rid of those. But in the meantime, you know, just ignore them. Yeah. So welcome to the Steve and Steve show. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. And I'm Steve. And I'm Steve. Uh, so Steve, uh, what, what are we going to talk about today? Oh, wait, before you say that, yep. I wanted to, see if I can pull this into here. There it is. Yeah. I have a cup of hot peppermint tea. There you go. And I and I've got my invisible water. Peppermint tea. Trying to figure out well, there it is. My invisible water. <laughs> so so I thought we would just and only talk about the words just and only. Who in the heck is Justin Only? Justin Only. It's it's like uh, <laughs> there were. <laughs> I thought was going to come up with a uh, with Justin a group. Justin Only, like a band name, like yeah, Wild rock. Wild Oats rock band. I think. <laughs> Justin Only. Okay, so you're saying the words just uh -huh. and only, just and only. <clears throat> All right, well, just tell me about these words, only don't, you know, leave anything out. <laughs> yeah, so, we're <laughs> drinking peppermint tea today, so. So they are, they're, they're words that we use on a regular basis that will compromise, may potentially compromise like our goal or, or something that we've set out that we're, that we, we're trying to set maybe new habits or not get sucked into something. Okay. So I'll give you, give you a couple of examples for me. Uh, for me, I, I get sucked into movies pretty easily. I like movies. <laughs> so, so my kids will, they'll put, find something interesting. It doesn't have to be very interesting. It just has to be somewhat interesting. And I will look at the time and say, I've got 20 minutes. I'm just going to sit here for 20 minutes. Perfect. Okay. Right. I'm so I, I, I compromised myself there. The other word only. You weren't going to go to the movie at all, right? You, you weren't. Well, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, plan I was planning on, you know, utilize the 20 pot. minutes, utilize the 20 minutes to be productive on something. And because it was interesting and it didn't have to be, you know, it could be one of those B movies, which I think is going to, you know, <laughs> always has that it'll get better soon <laughs> it never does but it, it just sucks me in so it just sucks you in yeah so i i compromise i negotiate with myself and i use 
I use the word just in my head or if I'm talking it's like, I'm just going to sit here for 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, I'm going to get up and go. Well, I don't always stick to that. And next thing you know, it's, you know, end of the movie. It's been an hour and a half later. Well, heck, afternoon's blown. Might as well watch another movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's only one afternoon. <laughs> it's, it's only one more movie. <laughs> so that's where the other, the other word comes in, right? The only. And where this one may come in in the play is you've, you've heard there was a commercial back in the 80s and maybe it was or maybe it was later 70s and they and they would times they just have one chip right right i like that trick that you knew you if you grabbed that one chip it wasn't just the one that you're gonna have it was a whole the whole bag and so lays would say you just can't have one that's what it was yeah yeah, yeah. Lays would start saying and and i i mean i i'm gonna have to agree if if you like lays potato chips you can't just have one yeah <laughs> <laughs> Folks nowadays are like flaming hot Cheetos or flaming hot Takis. It can just have only one. I'm, I'm not, I'm not. I, I kind of get where you're going though. Um, I don't kind of, because for me, it comes to uh, my weight. You know, I, uh, I've said it before, I love to eat, but I'll say, you know what, today I'm going to do really well. I'm just going to have one chip, one. <laughs> In fact, it's funny today, uh, and, and I'll even do it through cooking. I love to cook. And so today we started to make some hors d'oeuvres and the hors d'oeuvres were these, I had an idea for Italian nachos. It's not original, but mine was original. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make Italian nachos today. I'm just going to do it because it's creative and it's new. I'm, I don't have to eat or I'll only have one bite of something. Uh, but I could never stop with just one. In fact, I'm looking at the pan right now and most of it is gone. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, there, there's, there's a little bit to the words, right? So it's really not the words that commit us to contributing uh, to breaking what you know whatever resolution that we have or or gets us to negotiate it's it's our discipline right so it's that discipline that to say this is all i'm going to do and right. having that discipline so if you're disciplined if you're very if you're if you have a very strong mental capabilities and you're disciplined well you're probably not going to compromise yourself with that one chip or that 20 minutes or wh whatever that compromise is, right? Maybe it's the just going to hit the snooze button one time. I'm just going to skip uh, exercise today because <laughs> I'll double it down on it tomorrow. Right, right. So, but it comes down to that mental toughness and being disciplined, right? And, and I think those two words, when you start, if you become aware become aware that you say those two words. As soon as you hear just to come out of your mouth or you start to think about it, then that could throw a flag up and say, whoa, maybe my, maybe I'm crossing a line I don't really want to cross right now. And, and think about where your goals are, your resolution, yeah. you know, how, how to stay on track, right? Uh, I, I, I definitely see it. In fact, I, uh, another example for me was when we were doing that spiritual exercise, there were a lot of things that we knocked out of our um, days, weeks. And one of them for me was all alcohol completely. Mm -hmm. you know? But on Sunday, we could pick one thing out of all of the um, uh, disciplines that we had done. We could pick one thing to go ahead and, and be uh, relieved of. Well, mine on a few Sundays, because we were, you know, the games were on and things like that. I said, yeah, you know what? I think I'll have only one martini. Well, yeah. one martini led to two martinis. And two martini equals three, mar no, not really. But, but the truth of the matter is, after I had a couple of those martinis, and after I had been a week without anything like that, it was a, 
I, I felt horrible. I felt like this is like bad news. And, you know, that's the, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. So we go back, going back to, I mean, the, the alcohol is definitely, you know, a big one, right? When, when you have to, you cross that line and you just have, uh, you know, another one, but to, to kind of go back to kind of like a chip or a cookie type of scenario where it's, that's a little thing. Well, but one, that one little guy, one little chip, he has like 30, 40 friends that go along with him. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. It's, it, it is. That's exactly right. The, 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 the one chips, you know, uh, spreads like rabbits. I mean, as we do the live <laughs> show right now, I'm still looking at, you know, the, the Italian nachos that were there. And I'm even in this moment going, you know, I could only have, they were really good. I could only have just one little try on it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you though, I think the word that uh, only, and I know we weren't supposed to go down this rabbit hole, but the word only was also something that, uh, is bad using as an absolute as well. I mean, using it as I only want to do this. So just like when you say, I'm only going to have one of these, I only want to do this one thing. It starts to close down the possibility of, of what you could do. So I think at least in the word, in the, in the, in the, using the word only oftentimes can be dangerous by itself. Yeah. 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 So that might be a good, a good reason to do couple good reasons, right, to eliminate that or try to eliminate that from, 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 from your vocabulary, from that, mm, I don't know how, how to describe it, because there are times where you're the only one there. Right. Right. Good, good example right. of a good way of using the word only, but when you use the word only to justify something is yeah. probably when it, when it, 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 it compromises no, I, your, your, I, your thinking or your, your discipline. So I'm curious, Steve, give me an example, if you can, if you can think of one, of where you, something that we haven't talked about yet, where you either used a just or an only in something that you've done in your life. You, I mean, you gave the example of the movie, but are there any other things that are maybe in business or in school or some other place where you've used that? Hmm. I'd like to put you on the spot, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I, I don't know about the word only, but just, right? Is, is, is a, is a fairly good compromise. I think, you know, like you, you just just gonna look at one email, right, right, and, and then the next thing you know, you're you're deep into the emails, and and, and you're Half sometimes your what happens happens to me is I get focused on emails, and I forget that I was gonna jump on a call in five minutes. <laughs> uh, I, th I think I think it's a, I think it's an absolutely great uh, example. Um, uh, you know, I'll be doing something where we know I've got a certain deadline on something. I've got to get a report out or I've got to do some sort of a paper. And um, I say, well, I'm just going to go and do this for now. And that turns into two or three hours. And all of a sudden, I'm another day behind. So would you say that just a good cousin or relative to just is procrastination or procrastinate? It, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's a procrastination. It's definitely a. I meant, does it, it lead to procrastination? For well, example? maybe, maybe. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's deeper than that. Okay. I think it, lead, I think it's that trustworthiness. Oh, I got you. Okay. Right. Cause it, cause we, we, we talked about the mental discipline, the mental toughness. But it also is like your trustworthiness. It, do you do you how do you trust yourself enough to to know that if I if I just do twenty minutes, if I just have one chip, do you really trust yourself enough? Do you really believe in yourself that you're only going to do what you just said? I got you. So it actually isn't that we necessarily eliminate the just well maybe we do eliminate the word just 
But what we really do is you've got to have that disciplined trust. And in, if that's the case, then you may even test that. And if you know that you are disciplined, you may go in and do this and say, I'm going to do this. And this is all I'm going to do. And then when you succeed with that, you actually strengthen, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. If, if, yeah. If you build that muscle and you can do that, I, I think it needs to be, there's the, the awareness, self-awareness of what you were saying, keeping, keeping tabs of what you're thinking and keeping tabs of what you're saying to yourself. Right. Because that's, those are, those are trigger words. You can use those words just and only as trigger words that you that you're compromising at some point and it's an opportunity you know you don't have to eliminate those you just say okay i just said this i got to build my tr trust and i got to build my mental toughness right and my discipline yeah and and how i build those is i stick to what i just committed to right so that would that would be a good way of not necessarily eliminating those words but use them as a trigger to say, okay, here's an opportunity for me to stick to my guns. Right. And, and, uh, and, you know, I know in my case, I can, I can actually turn it into kind of a, uh, a parody. If the habit starts building where you're using, I'm just going to do this and I'm only going to have one. And that continues to build where you fail at it in terms of you actually have 10 or 20 and it leads to two or three hours of whatever it is that also builds and that creates a kind of opposite habit a counter habit mm -hmm. to where that just and only then become uh almost um uh enablers for continuing down the road of yeah of, yeah of, so think of discipline so, so think about when we were doing uh, last summer we were doing push-up challenge. Yeah, we were. Right. And we, we got to start that again, by the way. Yeah, we do. May 1st is coming. <laughs> Maybe 500 mile runs. <laughs> May, well, May 1st is coming. We should, we should get the challenge going. But, yeah. but if you think about it, we started, there was something that we started. We started with a low number. Yeah. Right. Just, just do three, just do five. And then we got like, do five. And I got, I got 10. Well, right. I just did 10. So right. it can be an enabler. And that's why I think maybe it's not necessarily that we eliminate those two words, but we, instead of eliminate, we use them as the enabler. The, you know, like, like I was just kind of saying is it, it's that yeah, now, sure. now make it, let's make it a positive thing. It can be, if, if, if we're trying to stick to a discipline, you know, a resolution or a goal or something, we got, we got, it's, it's, Hey, we got, we've got this thing. It's a flag went off. Time to right. find the mental tough up, right? But here's another, another way of getting you into motion by just doing this or only doing three or only just doing three, right? That's an enablement. So they're definitely powerful words. You know, when, when, when we do our coaching stuff, the key to a lot of the coaching stuff that we do is having the awareness. What, the awareness of what you're saying, what you're thinking, the awareness of what your body's feeling, Right, the awareness yeah. what's around you. So, yeah, I think that it can be. They can be used very much as empowering kind of words as well. If if you're you're careful with making sure you follow through on the discipline with them. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. it's interesting. All right, all right just, so we, did we beat this topic to, to death yet? Probably. I'm. I'm. Yeah. Just <laughs> we just we maybe. I, only, I have. I have to admit that. Where we ended up, I I would I would have never thought about some of the things I just came to conclusion just because we talked through it. Really? Yeah. I should ask you more questions. That's what I should do. <laughs> There's a lot up here. All right. Well, we've probably come close to the time, folks. Yeah. It's been fantastic to be with you today. Uh, we've said it before. We'll say it again. Subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your associates, your acquaintances. Um, we're really gaining traction. I mean, we're like getting into the big time. I know. We, we, we need, well, we need to double our subscriber account. Uh, that's our, our first goal, right? Is to, is to, we, we definitely want to get to 100 subscribers. Um, and so if, if you 
if, if you look down at the bottom and it's not 100 yet, please subscribe. And if you have already subscribed, grab your spouse's phone and subscribe again. <laughs> how, about, how about we throw a challenge out there? Yeah. We're going to ask you to just <coughs> tell 10 people about the Steve and Steve show and have them subscribe to it. Just right. do that. Just, and, and it's only 10. Only 10. No more. <laughs> Just 10. Only 10. Let's do that. Let's see what they can do. You yeah, people, let's, you're let's, out there right now. You're on the front lines. Do you realize you guys are the tip of the spear out there? All right. We'll stop. Copy this into your Facebook page or your Instagram page and ask everyone to jump on here and like it. Yeah. And there's a lot of other shows, right? <laughs> so if you didn't like this one, you know, tell them to like the other ones. That's right. That's right. Anyway. And if you, if you really want to uh, help out, make a comment. If you like the backgrounds, uh, yeah. or if you'd like to see something different, or if there's a topic, you know, if there's a topic they want to see us dive yeah, into. Yeah, throw you know, a topic out there. Great yeah. idea. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, Steve, All right. let's, uh, let's wrap this one up. All right. So, where's your, where's your tea? Here's my tea is coming into the picture. A virtual yeah. ting. Ting. All right, thanks everyone. Enjoy your day. <laughs>